This is Andrew asking for some relationship advice. Gang, Morris. gang. Is that Andrew from Bleach Media? I don't know what that is. What's up, Theo and Brandon? I've got a crazy relationship advice question. So, I recently broke up with my girl. We've been, we were dating for a year and a half. And it got to the point where she was just bringing me down all the time, telling me that I need to see a therapist, mm -hmm. telling me that I need to read books. I don't read books. So I broke up with her. But the thing is, so she's hmm? trying to help. we still live together. For the next couple of weeks, she's going to move out in about two weeks. But my question is, I want to know for the next two weeks, is it acceptable to have a little slam piece over? I live in the basement. My ex-girl lives upstairs. <laughs> she might not even know if I had some little slew over. Oh my would God. that be okay? Or would that just kind of be pushing the boundaries at all? I mean, I fully support him. I'm the roommate and best friend. Roommate. <laughs> 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 That guy looks like Hillary Swank, bro. Yeah. A little. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, buzz, gang, players. And I now, think gang, gang, buzz, buzz. I don't know how many. I don't know how many slam. I don't know how many slam pieces are vying to get that basement, <laughs> but it's that big of a problem. Have at it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're stalking women on Vine. <laughs> what I want to say is, first of all, uh, that was not a, a, a dig at your buddy. I think Hillary Swank is one of the finest young men that's ever walked I think she's face handsome. Her. I think she's okay, handsome definitely. as well. She, uh, she, she did work in a Million Dollar Baby. Oh, dude, definitely. She's definitely better than some of these, uh, definitely some of the Bantamweight fighters I've seen recently. I'll take her over Vin Diesel. Yeah. What I'm saying is, this, first of all, are you sure you don't live with your mom, bro? It sounds like... <laughs> You and your mom might be having an erroneous conversa uh, relationship, Daddy. Hey, also, could you let's say you do have a bunch of slam pieces vying to get into that basement with your best friend roommate? <laughs> let, can you wait two weeks? Could you hold out two weeks so the girlfriend doesn't have to see it? What do you mean? And two here's weeks? the other thing. I don't know if I believe you have a girlfriend. I, I'm just gonna throw that out. The elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you and your brother won't move out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it sounds like you won't move out, guy. That's like a real problem, dude. Yeah. And first of all, I, yeah, fuck while you're indoors, because in two weeks, you're outdoors, dude. All right? It doesn't sound like you guys have a huge problem, uh, a huge uh, plan. I didn't hear, like, a printing press going on down there. I didn't see anybody. I didn't see any, like, crafts or mercantilery in the background, no textiles. Dude, you guys have two weeks to get your shit together, and you're stalking people on the gram, bro. Some people on the gram also calling women slam pieces. I would yeah. fix that in this culture, <laughs> my man. Good luck, brother. But, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. What do you think, Kat? You're a woman. I really don't believe any of this, honestly. Wow. <laughs> because you're telling me the girlfriend lives upstairs. He lives in the basement with his best friend. Yeah. It, it, hey. And you're trying to bring a girl <clears throat> to the basement to fuck? Yeah. Hey, I'm almost positive no. it's his mom because she wanted to read books and go to therapy. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, case salt here. Yeah. <laughs> it's your mom trying to make you a better person, bro. Yeah. He's young, too, man. Oh, this kid's probably 13 or 14. Kat, have you ever heard the term slam piece? Um, I have, only from people who don't get laid. Yes, correct. Yeah, and I, got, I was in New Jersey, or no, Philadelphia one time in the middle of the night, and uh, I was at a bar. I was in a house. So it was a club, a nightclub. Somebody had some zoning loophole it was a house bar club it was a house bar club it was wow. a house imagine walking to somebody's house and it's a nightclub like wow. in a neighborhood dude really really bizarre we call it a house party yeah. people were dancing bro they had a dj every between every song they would stop and do the eagles fight song oh wow and then at one point the dj came on and was like who wants to fuck one of these slam pigs tonight and i was <laughs> like oh so slam pigs i left dude. and what girl's like yeah i'm a slam pig yeah some girl just jumped out the window for no reason yeah it was bad. Wow. Place is just, this was out Maniunk before they before it got gentrified. It was a real shithole. D, have you heard the term slam piece? No, I've never heard of slam piece. In the I've young, never heard bro. slam piece. That's, that's what he's talking about fucking Hulk Hogan. You know what I mean? It was crazy. The chick was wearing a, uh, she was wearing a, uh, uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake t-shirt as well, one of the women. The slam the, pig? Yeah. Wow. So I was like, slam pigs are going to be heavier women. And they love to wrestle in their area anyway. You yeah. get in New Jersey and PA, man, people love wrestling. Springsteen, all that. Oh, wow. Uh, good luck, dude. <laughs>
Cats. <laughs> 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 That's it, bro. We solved this case. <laughs> <laughs>